Welcome to my entrepreneurial marketing vlog where I'll be talking about national brew and pub chain Brewdog. It all started in 2007 on a farm in Scotland when owners Martin Dickey and James Watt decided to craft their own beers. They started making small cases of home brewed beer as they said they got bored of industrially brewed lagers and stuffy ales. They now have two breweries, one in Scotland and the other in Ohio. They sell beers in mainstream supermarkets and also own over 46 bars selling their unique craft beers. Over the years, Brewdog have marketed their brand with a range of eye-catching and strange ideas to get the public eye. There are a variety of ways in which entrepreneurial marketing is defined. More recently, Chaston states the behaviour exhibited by an individual or organisation which adopts a philosophy of challenging established market conventions during the process of developing new solutions. This reflects on the entrepreneur and the technique they use in new ways to market their brand or product. On the other hand, Hill states, entrepreneurial marketing is orientation as well as a process of pursuing opportunities, launching and growing venture that create perceived customer value through relationship, especially by employing innovativeness, creativity and selling. This shows that this focuses more on relationship building and the importance of employing key skills like innovativeness and also being able to think outside the box. This differs to Chaston's take on entrepreneurial marketing as here it focuses more on the behaviour and risk of developing new solutions that an entrepreneur should take. Another take on entrepreneurial marketing is from Danielle Anita. She states that entrepreneurial marketing is a set of processes to create, to communicate and to deliver value. This shows the process of entrepreneurial marketing starting with the creation of an idea, then communicating your marketing creation to a team around you. Finally, delivering this idea to customers or potential customers in an entrepreneurial way to grab the public's attention. One way Brewdog have successfully demonstrated guerrilla marketing is when they opened their first London store in Camden 2011. The owners drove a tank down the street where the bar was opening. They were giving out sample beers and the opportunity to buy shares in the company over the bar if purchased a craft beer. Driving the tank down the street generated a large amount of attention and within just two days fan vesters had spent over £500,000. Showing that this stunt of standing out in an unusual way raised a large amounts of money for the business. Not only was this a financial benefit for Brewdog, however, this guerrilla marketing stunt gained them press from the BBC News and a range of different newspapers such as The Guardian. According to CMI, content marketing is a strategic approach that distributes valuable and relevant content to attract an audience. Brewdog use blogs and video blogs to share their content. They have a blog called Speak Easy which is updated on a regular basis. Blakeman said, memorable campaigns are naturally a conversational subject, which is one of the guerrilla business goals. Guerrilla marketing will create conversation without any financial investment. A disadvantage to guerrilla marketing is that it can seem hard to compete with bigger competitors, as they will have a larger budget to market with, meaning they can reach out to a wider audience. I believe Brewdog could use scarcity marketing to increase sales, as this will create an urge for people to buy if they believe a product is selling fast. For example, they could create a beer for Christmas and market this product on a limited time only basis, creating a higher demand for the product and most likely increase sales and profit. Another entrepreneurial marketing idea could be ambush marketing. This is when a company uses an event which is sponsored by another company to cause positive effect on their branding without the permission of the sponsoring company. As discussed, Brewdog have a record for standing out and creating eye-catching campaigns. This could be another way for them to introduce a new craft beer with little money needed. If they target a large event such as the Budweiser Made in America Festival or Glastonbury in the UK, they could exploit the market as both of these events will be highly populated with adults buying and drinking beer. This will be a perfect opportunity for Brudo to market by handing out sample beers to festival goers. Thank you for watching my entrepreneurial vlog. I hope you enjoyed.